Welcome to the 16th lecture on digital simulation. In this video, we will discuss some basic ideas of explicit and implicit methods. So we will uh, see what is the difference between explicit uh, method and implicit method for solving a differential equation. So consider a system of two differential equations in two variables. So here we have two variables x1 and x2. So the first differential equation is this one dx1 by dt is equal to a scalar value a11 into x1 plus a12 into x2 plus b1. This is the first equation. Then the second equation is dx2 by dt is equal to a21 into x1 plus a22 into x2 plus b2. Now, in order to solve this system using forward Euler method, uh, what we have to do is we will replace the dx by dt term by this difference x and x1 n plus 1 minus x1 n divided by x. So if you replace this dx1 by dt by this x1 n plus 1 minus x1 n by x, uh, we will get one equation. So if you rearrange this equation, uh, we will get an expression for x1 n plus 1. x1 n plus 1 is equal to x1 n plus this term multiplied by x. So if you know the values of x1 n and x2 n, and the step size h, you can calculate x1 n plus 1. So x1 n plus 1 is completely described by the past values x1 n and x2 n. So a mere substitution of the values of x1 n and x2 n will give you this result x1 n plus 1. So x1 n plus 1 is explicitly expressed in terms of the past value. So this is an explicit method. Similarly, if you write the expression for x2 uh, second differential equation, if you replace a dx2 by dt term in the second differential equation by x2 n plus 1 minus x2 n divided by h then you will get an expression for x2 n plus 1 here also if you observe x2 n plus 1 is completely described by the past values x2 n and the x1 n and the step size so s1 x1 n and x2 n x1 n plus 1 and x2 n plus 1 can be calculated explicitly in terms of x1 n and x2 n. So this is an explicit method. Forward Euler method is an explicit method. Whereas if you consider backward Euler method, in the case of backward Euler method, we, uh, we will replace this side by x1 n plus 1 minus x1 n by x, same as that of forward Euler method, but the right hand side of the equation uh, is replaced by replacing x1 and x2 by its n plus 1 the values x1 n plus 1 and x2 n plus 1 this we have discussed in the previous lecture in backward Euler method for solving dx by dt equal to f of x comma t we will uh, write it like this x n plus 1 minus x n by h is equal to the function evaluated at x n plus 1 and t n plus 1 so if by rearranging this uh, equation, we will get an expression for x1 n plus 1. So here one important observation is in the expression for x1 n plus 1, x2 n plus 1 is also appearing. So x1 n plus 1 is uh, not explicitly expressed in terms of the past values. The future value x2 n plus 1 is also appearing in the expression for x1 n plus 1. Similarly, in the second differential equation, if you apply backward Euler technique, the left hand side is replaced by this and in the right hand side x1 is replaced by x1 n plus 1 and x2 is replaced by x2 n plus 1. By rearranging you will see that in this expression also both x2 n plus 1 and x1 n plus 1 are appearing. So we cannot express x2 n plus 1 explicitly in terms of the past values x1 n and x2 n. Because in this expression for x2 n plus 1, this x1 n plus 1 is also appearing. So in such cases, we have to solve these two equations simultaneously. If I arrange the above two equations, above two equations, this equation number 2 and uh, equation number 1. These two equations, if I arrange in a matrix form, it will appear like this. So x1 n plus 1 and x2 n plus 1. Uh, will be obtained by solving this linear system of the form ax equal to b. So here they are not given by explicit expressions in terms of x1 and, and x2 n. So they are uh, obtained after solving this linear system. So it is an implicit method. Uh, 
I will give one more example for the implicit method. Suppose in the previous differential equation, uh, we modify the right hand side in the first equation. An additional term, sorry, an additional term uh, C1 into X1 into X2 is introduced here. So the introduction of this term brings in some non-linearity. So if you apply forward Euler technique, sorry backward Euler technique here forward Euler will give you an explicit result for x1 n plus 1 in terms of x1 n and x2 n if you apply backward Euler method this left hand side is replaced by x1 n plus 1 minus x1 n by x and on the right hand side x1 x2 are replaced by its n plus 1 the values so here you can see we will arrive at a non-linear equation in x1 n plus 1 and x2 n plus 1 so this is one non-linear equation. Similarly, in the second differential equation, if you apply backward Euler method, you will arrive at another differential equation. Sorry, another non-linear equation. Sorry, I made a mistake. This will be linear because in the second differential equation, there was no non-linear term. In the second differential equation, there was no non-linear term, but uh, so it will give a linear equation whereas in the first differential equation there is a non-linear term there is a product of x1 and x2 so it will uh, give you a non-linear equation so in order to solve the above system of equations now we can uh, mark the first equation as f1 equal to 0 and uh, the second equation as f2 equal to 0 this one as f2 equal to 0 by bringing this terms to the left hand side and equating to 0 we can mm, the, get two equations f1 equal to 0 and f2 equal to 0 and we can solve these two equations using Norton Raphson method since f1 is non-linear so in order to solve this using Norton Raphson we have to solve a system like j into delta x is equal to minus f0 this we have seen in the previous lectures so this Jacobian matrix j will be 2 by 2 since we have two variables so the Jacobian matrix will have j11 j12 j21 and j22 terms j11 will be dou f1 by dou x1 n plus 1 so if we evaluate dou f1 by dou x1 n plus 1 from this expression you will get this value that is j11 similarly dou f1 by dou x2 n plus 1 will give you j12 so similarly the second expression f2 f2 dou f2 by dou x1 n plus 1 and dou f2 by dou x2 n plus 1 will give you the other elements in the jacobian so once you get the values in the jacobian matrix you can solve for the update delta x1 uh, 1 n plus 1 and delta x2 n plus 1 so this requires an iterative solution of x1 n plus 1 and x2 n plus 1 need to be solved using iterations newton raphson iterations which in one time step you have to solve a non-linear system then in the next time step also you have to solve a non-linear system using your Raphson method so this will be computationally indexing so for same accuracy uh, this implicit methods uh, will take more time significantly longer computation time and the computation complexity is also more as compared to explicit methods so unless there is some stability problem or there are convergence issues associated with the explicit methods uh, we will not go for implicit methods if there is some issue with the explicit method we can use an implicit method otherwise implicit methods will take more computation time and the, the complexity is also more thank you